Hello everyone, welcome to Being Techie. Today I'm going to explain default serialization format in .NET Web API. We often see different formats being produced when we hit an endpoint using a browser. For example, in Chrome, usually we see a XML by default, and in Internet Explorer, it is in JSON. So here I'm going to explain like what is the criteria to pick the default formatter by .NET Web API. I'm going to explain this using a sample program I've written to demonstrate this. It has one endpoint API slash products and it returns product objects where a product object contains simply a pro set of properties. Currently, this program is already hosted in localhost IIS. Let's see how the output is produced in Chrome. HTTP localhost. Yeah, currently it shows as an XML. Copy this and hit it using Internet Explorer. It is trying to show in a JSON format. So before explaining the mechanism behind this, let's see the default formatters available in the .NET Web API. To see this, I have written a single line to, sh to see the available formatters in debug mode. Let's start the debugging using Chrome. It's trying to build. And this time it is being hosted in IIS Express which is a default behavior of Visual Studio. Yeah, it hit the application start method. Let's do a F10. If you look at the formatters by default, there are four formatters available in the .NET configuration object. The first one is JSON. If you look at the format of the type, it is application slash JSON and text slash JSON. And the second one being the XML, application slash XML and text dot slash XML. Also the order also important in the configuration. The first one is JSON, second one is an XML and so on and so forth. So whenever we Web API gets a request, it tries to match with the available formatters in the given order. Let's see how it works in a fiddler. Currently, I am hitting the same endpoint using a content type application slash JSON. It returned in JSON format. If you see here, it shows the JSON, which is as expected. Now try with an XML. It returned in an XML. Let's try without specifying anything. Interestingly, this time again, it showed in JSON. Now try something not part of the four default formatters application xhtml and hit execute again it returned in json format the reason it picks up json format is it tries to match this content type in the available four formatters so whenever it does not match the formatters it simply picks up the first one and the first one being the JSON formatter. So that's the reason order is important in this collection. Now let's look at this Chrome and see what is a request being sent when we hit this endpoint.
see the content type is XML which is an exact match that's why the second formatter is shown whereas in the Internet Explorer the format is application slash XHTML and it does not match any of the available formatters that's why the web API picks the default one which is the first one and the JSON formatter hope you like this video thank you see you next time